I don't want to have my children not have a parent. If there's anything that I can do to um, reduce my risk as much as possible to be around for my family and for myself, I want to do that. In early 2010, my father, who has three younger sisters, um, the youngest sister was diagnosed with breast cancer. And maybe four or five months later, I got a call from my father telling me that my aunt had tested positive for the BRAC2 genetic mutation, that the other two sisters had tested negative, but that my father indeed had tested positive. And he suggested that I go and get tested myself. So I spoke to my primary care physician, and he put me in touch with a genetic counselor. I went into a genetic counselor and, and went through all of my family history, which did not include a lot of breast cancer other than this one aunt, and had the testing, and a few months later went back and to my shock and disbelief, found out that I too was positive for this genetic mutation. It was really a process, like anything uh, is. I had that first shock and disbelief and a little bit of fear, and then I started educating myself, and my husband and my kids went on this journey with me. Um, spoke to a lot of physicians, spoke to a lot of people, friends and friends of friends who had been through this, and got to a place of being comfortable with what my options were, so obviously speaking to physicians, and deciding that I was lucky to have this information and that I was going to feel empowered with it in the end and um, do what I could do to be as healthy and around for as long as possible. I sort of bargained with my physician for about a year, with my breast surgeon for about a year. I had a lot of things already scheduled, including a trip to Israel and culminating with my son's, my oldest son's bar mitzvah. Um, and so I put it off for a year. I took tamoxifen in the meantime. And two weeks after my son's bar mitzvah, I had a prophylactic double mastectomy. And a few months later, I had reconstruction and a total hysterectomy. I would say, it's knowledge, it's information, and it's empowering. There are so many things in life, other diseases and other things in life that you don't have control over or things that you could know and you can't do anything about them. But this is something that you can do something about, whether it is increased monitoring or going the full aggressive way that I went and, and having surgery. It just is information um, and it really is empowering to have it. them and that's just partly me, I just want to speak to as many people as possible. And people were so open and willing to talk to me and share their experience. It created a community for me and a support system that was really helpful. Mm -hmm.